welcome back to Math Help with Ms. Harris. Today's learning target is going to be, I can solve systems of linear inequalities by graphing. So systems of linear inequalities are two or more linear inequalities that have the same variables. And then the solution of a system of linear inequalities is the set of ordered pairs that makes all of the inequalities true. So with systems of inequalities, there are an infinite number of solutions, or there can be no solution. If a solution set exists for a system of inequalities, the solution is any point that's in the overlapping sections of each inequality. And then if there's no solution set, that means that the inequalities never overlap. So now we're going to look at a few examples of where we solve systems of linear inequalities by graphing the system of inequalities on the same coordinate plane. So in this first example, we're going to graph a system of inequalities where both inequalities in the system are written in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to graph the first inequality, y is less than or equal to negative 5 over 2x minus 2. And the two pieces of information I need from that inequality to be able to graph them are the slope and the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is negative 2, which is always a really good point to start from when graphing a linear equation or a linear inequality on a coordinate plane. And then the slope is negative 5 over 2. So from my knowledge of graphing inequalities or graphing equations, since negative 2, the y-intercept, is really close to the bottom of the graph, I'm actually going to put that negative in our denominator for the slope. So that way, when we're plotting this, we're going to rise 5 units. and then run two units to the left to make our next point. And with those two points that I now have on the coordinate plane, because the inequality symbol is equal to, I'm going to use a solid line when plotting. Now for inequality number two, I know that the y-intercept is two and the slope is negative one-half. So I'm gonna plot the y-intercept for the second inequality, and then go down one unit and to the right two units to make another point. And then continue that pattern until we have a few points on the graph, and now I can draw my line. But because this inequality is less than, I'm not going to use a solid line, I'm going to use a dashed line. Now the last thing we need to make sure we do, and probably one of the most important because we're graphing systems of inequalities, is to make sure we shade the correct regions. So for the first inequality, the one that's in red, it's less than or equal to. So we already covered the equal to part by using the solid line, but because it's less than, we need to shade below the line. And then for inequality 2, because it is less than, we also shade below the line. Now the solution to the system of inequalities is where those two shaded regions overlap. So just to make it really clear in this graph, I'm going to go over that region with this green highlighter, just so you can distinctly tell the difference. So all points in this region where the red lines and the blue lines, which are shaded regions for each inequality overlapping, is where our solution set is. So we can represent that by using a big S. So I'm not going to highlight for every single graph, but I did want to make that super duper clear for this first example that we were doing. Now in this second example, you'll see that we have two inequalities that are written in standard form. So in order for us to plot these on the graph, we can either rewrite it in slope-intercept form in order to find the slope and the y-intercept, or we can find the x and y-intercepts from the inequalities in order to plot the inequality on the coordinate plane. 
So for inequality 1, I'm going to rewrite this in slope-intercept form. So we'll have to subtract 3x on both sides because we need to isolate y. And we'll have 2y is greater than or equal to negative 3x minus 2. And then divide every term by 2 so that we have y is greater than or equal to negative 3 halves x minus 1. So we know that the y-intercept is negative 1, and the slope is negative 3 over 2. So we'll go down 3 units, and then to the right 2 units to make another point, and then use a straight edge to draw our line. Because the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line. And since it's greater than, we're going to shade above the line. For our second inequality, I'm going to find the x and y intercepts for this inequality in order to plot it on the coordinate plane. So the x-intercept is when the y value is 0. So I'm going to substitute 0 for y in order to find the x-intercept. And when we do that, 2 times 0 cancels out, so we get the x-intercept is 2, and we can plot that point. And then to find the y-intercept, we need to substitute 0 for x because we know that the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So we get that the y-intercept is 1, and I'll plot that on the y-axis. Now because the inequality symbol is less than or equal to, this is also going to graph as a solid line. So with a straight edge, we'll make a solid line through those two points. And since it is less than, it's going to be shaded below that line. And then the overlapping region is between these two lines. So our solution set is this space here. And I'll just represent that by drawing a very, very large S for solution. For example three, we're going to look at solving linear inequalities when one of the lines is a horizontal line and one of the lines graphs as a vertical line. So when x is greater than 1, that line x equals 1 is when all of the x values are equal to 1. So it graphs as a vertical line. And because it's just greater than and it's not equal to, I'm going to use a dashed line for plotting this. Since it's greater than, it's also going to have to be shaded to the right where the x values are greater than 1. Now for the second inequality, y is less than or equal to negative 3. That's a horizontal line where all y values are equal to negative 3. And since it is equal to for our inequality, I'm going to use a solid line. And then to account for the fact that it is less than or equal to, I'm going to shade below that line where all y values are less than negative 3. And then our overlapping region is where we have our solution. So I'm going to draw a stretched out S there, and that's our solution set. Example four, you're gonna see what it looks like when we have a system of inequalities that has no solution. So the first inequality is already written in slope-intercept form, so I can tell that the y-intercept is negative one, and I can also tell that the slope is five over two because it's the coefficient of x in slope-intercept form. So that means I have to rise five units and then move to the right two units. Now before I draw a line, think about it. What type of line am I supposed to use for an inequality that's less than or equal to? Take a second. It's a straight solid line. 
And since it is less than, I'm going to shade below the line. In order to graph inequality 2, since it's written in standard form, I'm going to have to rewrite it in slope-intercept form so that I know the slope and the y-intercept so that I can plot this on the coordinate plane. So I'm going to start by subtracting 5x on both sides. Now I have negative 2y is less than or equal to negative 5x minus 8. And then lastly, I need to divide every term by negative 2. But you have to remember, have to, have to, have to, if you multiply or divide by a negative number when solving inequalities, you need to change the direction of your inequality symbol. So I circle it to remind myself that I need to change it, and then I immediately write it in the opposite direction for my next and most simplified inequality. So we'll have y isolated, finally, is greater than or equal to 5 over 2x plus 4. Now I can plot the y-intercept, which is 4, and I know that the slope is 5 over 2, which means I have to go up 5 units and to the right 2 units, but I don't have space for that on this graph, but I know that 5 over 2 is the same as negative 5 over negative 2, so I'm going to instead go down 5 units and then to the left 2 units to make my next point. And since this symbol is greater than or equal to, because of the equal to, I'm going to use a straight line. And because it's greater than, I'm going to shade above this line. The red region and the blue region don't overlap for this system of inequalities. One is greater than for the blue region, and one is less than for the red region. So since those shaded regions don't overlap, there is no solution for this system of inequalities. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you with solving systems of linear inequalities by graphing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.